Uh, so uh, here's a Ford Focus uh, rear spring. Um, I was unable to do undo this bottom nut here. So uh, bolt actually, but whatever. Uh, so I had to put the spring in um, with everything on the car. So I stuck. Uh, I got these big uh, one inch uh, square tube bars there, about uh, hmm, seven feet long. I stuck them in up over top of here and under up in there right up in there basically and then use those to pry down on the down on the suspension and then uh, I had to have this uh, it's a modified strut compressor uh, just a, basically a cheap strut compressor but I had to chop a uh, whole boat inch or inch and a quarter or so off of both uh, rods because they were too long as you can see, I've choked it up here. It looks like uh, on the left side, one, two, three. It's under the fourth coil here. And same thing on the other side. And I, I basically had them almost bottomed before uh, I could get it in, get the spring in with uh, my wife uh, prying down on that bar. But I finally got it in. i working on this for about three days now, believe it or not. I even built a special uh, spring compressor for it and uh, thought I would try this to reinstall the spring and we're able to uh, get it to work. So like I say, if you have the problem not being able to remove this suspension bolt here, now I have taken the shock absorber out and as well as uh, un undid the, uh, I guess you call it sway bar linkage, all that. So we were able to do it. Uh, this rod here goes inside the spring and the other one fits uh, outside it there. If you can see, hopefully, see I got it, got it outside of the the spring uh, housing there. So it was tricky, but got her to work. So if you're working on a Focus and uh, can't uh, can't do the spring, uh, this might help. This is a stock length spring, and uh, it was just a royal bear to get in there. In spite of the fact this is supposed to be an easy operation.